right, here I am um, in our landing, on our landing, I should say. Um, I'm about to show you our walking cupboard. Um, I would like to say that this wasn't a purpose-built cupboard. Um, my husband Retro built it. Um, this door was originally, so it's got a fill on top, was originally the door to the airing cupboard. Um, sorry, that's the automatic light on the landing again. Ooh, it's enough to drive you mad. Um, and um, we had a combi boiler put in, so uh, that freed up space in the loft which I've spoken about up there, and it also freed up the tank from in the air cupboard. So we then knocked through to a wardrobe that was in our spare bedroom, which I'll show you when I do a house tour, and we stole some from the spare bedroom, some space to make a walking cupboard, very similar to what we did in the pantry actually. So I'm going to go in and show you. Hi, right, welcome to my husband and my walk-in cupboard. Um, straight ahead I keep some large really useful boxes and in there I keep um, my bags which are kind of categorised I've got oil cloth, Vera Bradley, I've got some purses I also keep some spare socks and some nice underwear and things in there um, so I don't use those very often so I don't need to access them um, but at least I've got them there and then in the corner I've got lots more boxes and they've got lots of other clothes which I don't really use but I like to have them there um, the only ones I really do use up at the top and they are Halloween jumpers and sweaters so I might pull them out once a year. Right, um, I keep feminine hygiene items on the very top. Um, then my husband has got trousers there and I've got some trousers there which are very lacking. I keep summer to the right, winter the darker colours to the left. And then my husband and I have got these little baskets which I bought from the holding company. They're really um, drawer organisers, they're all divided, so he keeps his aftershaves in here, some deodorants and a nice watch that he's got, and then in mine I keep body sprays, the old perfume, and um, not an expensive watch, but a cheapy watch, but <laughs> it works all the same. Uh, I keep some compacts in here, so if we want those, we can just slide them in and out, so they're labelled. We've got a squeaky floorboard. Um, below that is a shelf with a few jumpers and cardigans on um, and directly below that I've got three big tubs with all my knitwear in. Um, they've got cedar in them so hopefully we haven't got moth problems. I haven't seen, I haven't had moth problems ever touch wood, that's such a mistake to say that. Um, so they're all in there. So the shelf above uh, jumpers and cardigans that I use more often um, comes kind of September, October, I shall probably September. I shall sort through them and put my favourites there so I don't have to go through the boxes to get to them. This is the shelf closest to the door um, and these have got large baskets. These are from Lakeland. Um, the very top one holds my husband's knitwear. Um, then this one holds men's spring summer shirts so they tend to be short sleeved. Going down to the next one which is slightly messy. Um, they're his autumn and winter shirts, which are his long sleeve tops. They're in that big basket there. Um, he's six foot six, so he doesn't have any problems reaching any of these. Um, he doesn't use the knitwear terribly often. Um, he works outside, so he uses jackets and things more than jumpers. He'll only really use those on holiday and things like that. He's then got a basket with um, his underwear in. And he's, that little straw, that little um, cupcake thing is a little, um, what's it called? Fragrance which is really nice. Actually, it might need, might need changing soon. Then he's got his, some pyjamas. And at the very bottom, he's got his uh, baseball jackets and a sweatshirt. He's not a big sweatshirt fan, but that's what's in the bottom basket. So that is that side of our cupboard. You can see we haven't got hanging in here. Um, this just works um, more for us. So now I'm going to show you the other side. Right, this is the other side of the wardrobe. I'm just going to pan down and show you. These are the really useful drawers. Um, anyone who's seen my son's cupboard, um, my pantry, will know these. Um, I've got the large size, which is that size in those cupboards. 
but these incorporate the very shallow size which are ideal for A4 paper and they also have the mid size. Um, you can get these, these are drawer, it's got my tights in, these are drawers but you can get boxes which pull out um, and the boxes are like those with, I don't know if you can see, they've got blue handles so they're the boxes that you can use and I've got the box ones in um, the hallway which I must show you, it's got all of my outdoor things and it's also, um, my husband's got one in the garage for all of his uh, sports and cycling things. So in these, um, so in these, I keep at the very top makeup and things. Um, I've got them all separated out. I've got drawers of handkerchiefs, bracelets, necklaces, brooches, headbands, and head and um, hair things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, lipsticks and lip glosses. I've got face makeup. I make up um, Marcus's belts, Marcus's wallets, Marcus's jewellery and then I've got, these are where my clothes mainly are, I keep my pyjamas, I keep my jersey dresses in a drawer um, because anyway they don't crease and they're just neatly packed away in there. Um, I keep my socks and my underwear in these and at the very bottom I keep my skirts. I'm not a big skirt person but I use them you know for going out and in the winter perhaps with short skirts and boots and I keep my tops in here so this is basically mine apart from the three tiny drawers which are my husband's um, so yeah and then on the very top I keep our two huge travel, ba travel bags um, next to that I've got a hook where I hang all of my dresses um, I keep my long at the back again I only wear these kind of occasions or you know if I'm going out things like that so I don't wear them very often um, and then I bought this I like this from Holden Company in their sale and it's six hooks as you can see they move and you can hang it's a blouse hanger that I've actually got dresses on mine so I've got these are all my short dresses um, so I keep my short dresses hung so I can see what I have um, and then I keep my long dresses at the back. And then at the very bottom, I've got a bag where I keep some spare bags. Um, and then I've got a shelf there where I keep some oversized bags and I keep my, one of my favorite bags there. So um, that Ralph Run one, I normally sw will switch out for the autumn and bring my Vera Bradley in here. Cause it's too summery really, it's very pretty, but I have to go into something more to me. Um, the back of the door I have a hook and um, I'd had these hangers for quite some time actually and I hadn't really used them so when we were having our masses sort out up in the attic and in the garage I thought right I'm going to use these so what I've done can you read that? I can tell you what it says anyway no, it's not going to focus the first one um, are pashminas so these are all pashminas, all different colours um, all hung up and you just post them through the hole so they're really secure in there the next one behind that you see are summer scarves I'm very lucky I've got quite a lot of Georgina Von Etzloff scarves um, we lived well, my mum still does live in the village where they used to have their printing works and we used to have summer jobs there so very lucky and then um, I've got a winter scarf one behind Halloween there my sister made me that so um, yeah so these are great for scarves so I've got three four different seasons and then at the very back I have got a black velvet jacket which is like an evening jacket and I just keep a thick oversized belt and then I've got two ponchos hung there a tiny purse um, so that is about it for the cupboard and we've gone through this and the light hasn't gone off which I'm amazed about um, I've got wooden boards in here that my husband put down so um, yeah for I think that I mean it's brilliant because we don't have to have any clothes or anything in our in our bedroom which is fantastic um, all of my bags are, are down here now apart from the odd one or two which I keep up in the loft but when we had a good clear out I focused on the things I wanted to keep as opposed to being a hoarder I think we all can have you know
be criticised for doing that. So yeah, see this is our cupboard, so it's more perfectly formed and I uh, hope it's given you some ideas. Um, oh, I should say that, that um, those drawers are actually on casters, so that can get wheeled about so, so I can get to the shelves if I need to, although there's nothing on there. Um, I'm really dedicating those for any new things we have. We can just uh, store there. So thanks for watching A To Be Organised. Um, we're just doing um, some changing around in our kitchen, so um, I'm, I actually might, I might do is do some before footage and then I can show you after once we've done it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.